Alright guys, welcome back to Garden Warfare 2, and um, welcome back to one of the final episodes of this weird ability series thing that just happened because I made some throwaway comment one video. I came here because I just spotted that I don't have the big bad Bataron. Should I, should I try a multi-shot? Now here we are, a few months later. Anyway, so uh, today's video we're going to be looking at the psychedelic goat. That thing. And honestly, what can I say about it other than when was the last time you remembered this existed? <laughs> it doesn't last as long as the regular goat to fight. But the goat that the zombie gets turned into is a lot harder for them to control. So... Like, what? Whatever? I feel like the differences between the psychedelic goat and the regular one are so minimal. Honestly, you could just use either and you wouldn't notice. So before this video progresses any further, because I will actually forget to say something if I don't say it now, I have finally done it. I have finally gone and acted on the most popular request in this channel's history, and I finally went and made a Discord server. That's right, the not so vile Hyperion Discord server, or as I have dubbed it, the backyard, it's now open. Open for everyone to go and share their really awful memes and just hang out. I just want to say thank you to Mr. Super B for basically doing all of it for me. <laughs> it's open, and um, love to see you there. Link in the description. Oh, let's go. No homing required. God, Frost Rose is actually so fun. Anyway, so the ability is technically better. You're less likely to die, and it's easier to get the kill if you get someone with this Scotify. Not by, a, like, some considerable margin. It's, like, by the slightest amount. I reckon you've got perhaps a 10% higher chance of killing someone using the Psychedelic Goat. Oh, wait, oh there's a, a guy behind- a fellow behind me. Okay, alright, fine. Another positive. The goats get headbands. Okay, I will admit the headbands do look pretty sick. Anyway. Playing a support rose. Look at this. This is no longer a psychedelic goat video. It's just a frost rose video. What is frost rose tournament safe? Are any of the roses tournament safe, actually? I can't see how necros would be. Surely they've put necros on the blacklist. Oh my god. Oh, I've turned better corners. Oh wait, hold on. I've just clocked. Could it finally be? Mate, that one's already been destroyed. Oh no. <laughs> that was not marathon. Okay, that wasn't even a 20 minute game. Pathetic. So yeah, um, possible benefits for this thing? It's not bad. Don't like misconstrued what I'm saying. The Psychedelic Goat is not a bad ability. It's it's a decent ability. It's just incredibly pointless. Look, look at support rows. I got the mech. I guess I could use this opportunity to like provide some cool fun facts about the goat ability in general. So with the Goatify, kind of like Spikeweed, you're able to pull someone out of a mounted ability. So if someone sets up a like a bolt blaster or a cannon or a barrel, if you goatify them, it will completely get rid of it. Also, you get extra points for killing someone as a goat. You get extra points for killing a goat. If a chomper eats a goat, it's goat meal, the achievement, the famous achievement. Uh, goatify is also really good for taking out like outhouse zombies and coffin zombies because you can then go to fire outhouse zombie and kill it and he won't have any armor. Look. So you could just kill it very easily, very quickly. So yeah, those are some um, some goat fun facts. Oh no. Um, TB sighted? TB experienced. Wait, hold on, that's the sound right. Whoa, that's not, that's not PG, hold on. Hey, most assists and most first strikes. Let's go. <laughs> I love it when I say that. I always get comments. Like, hold on, he's not technically wrong. Oh, 
Well, um, I'm going this way. Um, have fun. Oh. I think we'll switch it up, I reckon. We'll switch rows. Druid Rose. Just gonna harness my inner noob. This character is the embodiment of I've just discovered the Rose class. Okay, no, we're playing a different character. I think I'm falling asleep. Okay, so this is the fairest character in the game. It's just, it's fair, this character. Okay, the amount of homing on this guy's uh, main weapon. It's almost as if there isn't homing. It's like, it's so minimal. Helpful fun pack. Please be helpful and fun. Please be helpful and fun. Huh. All right, neck rose, necromancer rose. Why are you called the neck neck rose? Everyone's like, oh my god, it's the neck rose, short for necromancer rose. But she doesn't bring people back from the dead. Okay, the amount of homing on this guy's uh, main weapon. It's almost as if there isn't homing. Damn, is that Hyperion with the five kills? Yeah. Sure is. Um, a rose change. Let's play this rose. Oh, hello. Oh. Oh. <laughs> let's go. Yes, let's go. Most first strikes. That TP's mine. Come on. Look at all this competition. I just thought I'd nick that. That's mine. <laughs> he already knows. Come on. Let's go. Taking that point. Point's mine. Okay, what kind of hitboxes are we talking about? What? what? Alright, so yeah, that was the Psychedelic Goat. About one of the most forgettable abilities in the game. When it comes to picking which is better, put both of them in a hat, close your eyes, and then draw one out of the hat. And that one's probably better. <laughs> when it comes to the argument of, should you use this thing? Sure. Sh go for it. That's all I have to say about that, really. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching, and I'll hopefully see you in the next one. Goodbye.